Hello, everybody. Bill Thornton, SoCal Saber here, and I got a new project I've started. I'm a little bit excited about this one, and it's going to be using the set that I did an unboxing on. It's going to be using History Maker baseball sets, uh, Cooperstown, the most recent edition. Now, what the project is going to be, I'm going to do a random draft for eight teams because they're all all stars. And I've come up with ways I think that will work, and it'll just be a lot of fun. And then I'll play games afterwards. There'll be, I don't know, 10, 20 game season. There'll be interleague play. The AL teams will be able to use a DH, NL teams will not. Uh, <clears throat> you know, and so let's go down here and I'll show you a little bit on some of the cars. The first thing I did is I pulled eight teams, four NHL and four AL teams from team cards from my Superstar Baseball uh, game. And these are teams that either me, my friend who passed away, Frank, my son, Mike, or AJ have used or played in the league. They each one in each league. And so we're going to be drafting for those teams in the alphabetical order. Now, here's what I'm going to be doing. I've got them broke up. The... You know, play.com says uh, left fielders, center fielders, and right fielders can play any position. <clears throat> the outfielders can play any position. So what I've done for this <clears throat> particular league is, is that each team must draft one of these guys, and they're only going to be able to play that position. Now, when we get to Denver starters, when they get to the bench draft uh, for the drafting, they'll be able to draw three of these guys or some of those if they're left over. They'll be added in. Uh, you know, the set contains uh, players from The Legend and players from, I uh, forget what the other one's called now, uh, but there's two sets two sets of cards that are in the Cooperstown. Then you got these brown guys that are called uh, Wishful Thinking or whatever they are. And you got these purple guys, which are exiles, like Bonds and Clemens and so forth. So in order to be a little bit fair, I declared that any team, if a team drafts a guy that's an exile, they can only have one on their roster. The rosters are going to be included. their eight position players. It's going to include, uh, I think it's uh, eight. Yeah, eight bench players that they'll fill, you know, like you got to have two third basements for injuries and so forth. Through that, four relievers and five starters. What we're going to do, the first thing I'm going to show you, I don't know how we're, I'm going to do all of this, how much I'm, I'm going to show you all the way, but we're going to, Start with the left fielders. <clears throat> okay. And according to my count, there's 23 left fielder cards. So I'm going to split this into, because that's more than a D20, I'm going to split it. I'm going to shuffle them a little bit. I'm going to split them into two equal piles. And I'm going to do them upside down because it's a surprise. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll a D20 and I'm going to roll a, and a D6. Some of these other positions will have a lot more piles than this. Okay, so for this first, for first grouping here, we're going to say that the D6, 1 through 3 will be this pile, 4, 5, 6 will be this pile that they'll be drafted out of, and then the D will tell me which card to select. If it's a number, that's higher than the highest one, we take the high, the, the, the last one, okay? So it'll go something like this. The Atlanta Braves are drafted. Okay, six. So they're going to be drafted in this pile, and they're drafted number 19. Now, we know there's no 19 in there, so it'll automatically be the last guy that's in this pile. And they drafted <clears throat> Willie Stargell as their left fielder. Okay. Chicago White Sox. And they're drafting from this pile and then drafting number eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they have drafted Don Baylor as their left fielder. Two surprises here we got drafted. Okay, here we go. My Detroit Tigers drafting over here. Number 15. There's not 15 in there, so they're getting the last guy. Mini Minoso, I can live with that one. Here are the LA Dodgers. 
They're out drafting out of here too. Number 10, maybe 10 left. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they're getting the last one. Ralph Kiner, nice bat for the Dodgers there, right there. Okay, here we go with the Yankees. Drafting out of here also. The first, very first one. Kirk Gibson. That seems going to be fun to fun to league. I can see this already. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Number 17 will be the last one here. There's Hank Greenberg. Some of the big power boys have been drafted in two out of the last three. The Giants here. They're drafting out of here. Number four. Two, three, four. And they drafted Chip Caffey. That's a good, good hitter there. And the last but not least, the Texas Rangers. Drafting out of here. Number eight. Is there an eight in there? Ooh. Nope, they're getting the last one. Joe Carbonell. So that's deals for the the left fielders who will come back into play when the bench guys start getting drafted. This they will come back in. So now we're going to go to center fielders. Okay, center fielders. Let's get the center fielders. Get the right ones, Bill. Center fielders. There's twenty five of them, so we'll do a twelve and we'll shuffle them up a little bit. We'll split them up into two. I should have put this on pause while I was doing this, but sorry about that, gang. Oh, and I also said I was going to be a buy of a serpentine, so it'll be going backwards this time. For the Texas Rangers selecting their center fielder. Over here, we're getting a lot of those over this one. One, two, three, four, five. And they chose Ty Cobb. Look at that, folks. Cobb with Carbonota to uh, drive them in. Okay, here we go. Giants, they could use a power guy there. They have a lot, a lot of power in the uh, center fielders, I don't think, too. In the San Francisco Giants have drafted Fred Lynn. Well, they're going to have a hit team going here. Here's the Cardinals. Number 12. I don't think there's 12 at left. Takes the last one. Pete Hill, speedy man, speedy Pete. Okay, here's the, the Yankees, Gibson. Again, dropping out of here, number seven. Lloyd Lehner, Lloyd, good, good on you. Good, good hitting guy. I think he was a little poison, I tell you. Him, his brother Paul was good poison, I think. Okay, three, number five. This is the Dodgers. The Duke Snyder, that's appropriate, and it? The Dodgers get Duke Snyder. Okay, here we go. Detroit. Drafting out of here also. 17. There's not 17 in there, so they're getting the last one. L. Simmons. They said, oh, that's great hitter. Okay. Here comes Chicago. Don Baylor is the only one pick so far. Chicago's going over here to the second one. Larry Doby. Good pick. Last but not least, Atlanta. Over here, number two. And they have chosen Willie Mays and Stargell in the same field. I'll feel. How cool, cool is that? All right, that is the center fielders. And they'll go off to the side. They'll come back in again when uh, 
the outfielders are picked during the uh, bench drawings. Okay, so now we're going to go to the right fielders. Let's see how many right fielders we got here. 25. Okay, so we'll do it again. Oh, see, I didn't put it on pause again. My goodness, Bill, what's the matter with you? Okay, Lance gets the first pick of the right fielders. Over here, number 18, that's the last one. Frank Robinson, that's a nice looking outfield called put look at Lantis put together. Okay, here's the White Sox. Over here, number 12, or maybe 12, or maybe more than 12. There's more, just no, there is 12 now, I'm just left in there right now. Tony Oliva. Hey, Detroit, what are my Mama Tigers going to be doing here, folks? Out of there, number two. Rocky Calavito, all right. I liked Rocky when he was... <clears throat> okay. Here comes the Dodgers. They got Kiner and Snyder. Over here, number six. <clears throat> Mel Ott. Oof. What a power in that outfield. Yeah. Okay. The Yankees. Over here, number 11. The last one. Reggie. That's probably, he went to the Yankees, huh? <laughs> kind of neat how they're at. some of these are happening. Here's the Cardinals. Number four. Cardinals get Harry Hooper. Okay, the Giants. And use some power, they say. Use some power. Over here, number 13 is the last one. Dave Winfield, they got some power. And here comes Texas. They can use some power, too. Okay, over here, the last one. Tony Gwynn. That's a good pick, but not power that they were looking for. All right, so they are all done. I'm going to do a pause now. What's going to be going on now is I'm going to be doing the, the infielders, and then uh, I'll come back after I uh, like after I draft them, so you can see all of the shortstops and so forth like that. Okay, third basements have been picked. They were picked in this order. Texas picked Ron Santo, then the Giants picked Kenny Boyer. Then the Cardinals picked David Ortiz as a DH only, and he can't play. He's going to have he can't play in the National League. So that pick was I just don't know I me mean, now. That is invalid. They will get the pick one more because he had, he's, there's no DH in National League. Um, but the Yankees did pick Bob Hamlin as a DH, which means they'll get their third baseman when they do in the, their bench guys. Okay. Then we went up here to the Dodgers. Pick Pete, Pete Rose. Utility can play any position. That I played except for pitcher and catcher. Then uh, the Tigers picked George Brett. Bill Madlock went to the White Sox. Craig Nettles went to Atlanta. So that's the third baseman. Be back in a while. Okay. Shortstops have been picked starting this way. Atlanta picked Derek Jeter. And Robin Yacht went to the White Sox. Detroit picked Frank Grant. As an infielder, which is nice flexibility because he can play any infield position, except pitcher and catcher. I don't play that. And the, the Dodgers went with another utility guy. They got two utility guys in the draft in a row that can play any position. So that's a lot of flexibility. The Yankees over here, they want, they got Alan Trammell, nice solid shortstop there. Barry Larkin went to the, the Cardinals. Ernie Banks, they were looking for some of that power. I said after the first two guys, they needed some power to go infield. Boyer Banks now, there's their power there. In Texas, 
got Ozzy Smith, the flick fielder. They need some power on this team here. All right. I hope you're enjoying this. Go down there and hit that like button. Give them, put some remarks out in the, in the, down there. So well, how you like what I'm doing here? And uh, do you like, uh, you know, History Maker Baseball? Uh, anyway, whatever. I'll be back with you uh, shortly after the uh, second baseman are picked. For the second baseman, started this side. Jeff Kent picked by Texas. Bobby Gritch went to the Giants, and then the Cardinals, for the second time in a row, I guess they don't understand, they picked David Ortiz, the DH, which they had to invalidate, draw another one. They got Nelly Fox. Okay, and then the Yankees got Julio Franco. The Dodgers went and got Charlie Garringer. Detroit got their first utility man, which brings me something. I said no pitchers or catchers for the utility plan, but, you know, King Kelly actually did catch when he was in the majors, along with playing some bases, so... I think uh, on guys that I know that caught, I can add that to their possibility. Or no, I'll just add it to all utility guys, that, that, just to be fair, okay? Make things even. Then the White Sox went and they got Red Shandy, so what a, run, a great player he was. And the Atlanta Braves picked Eddie Collins. So we're going to the first baseman next. See you in a bit. Okay, first baseman have been chosen. George, the Braves picked Bill Terry. Rod Carew went to the White Sox. Cap Anson to Detroit. The uh, George Sisler to the Dodgers. Johnny Mize to the Yankees. The Cardinals <laughs> once again picked the DH, but they were allowed to keep him this time because he's a first baseman DH, Eddie Murray. He'll never be the DH unless in interleague play they... Uh, they're playing in a uh, American League team. Then Jim D Daubert, one two, from 1913 class, went to the Giants. Big Mark McGuire, an exile, went to Texas. So that's the only exile they may own. All right, we're going to get the catchers going. Okay, the catchers were chosen. First catcher picked was Josh Gibson. Then Roy Campanella went to the Giants. Another old-timer, Ernie Lombardi, went to the Cardinals. Another old-timer, Buck Ewan, went to the Yankees. Keeping it up, Biz Mackey went to the Dodgers. Santop to the Detroit. Carlton Fisk to the White Sox. And Johnny Bench to Atlanta. <clears throat> okay, I, uh, I'm going to be set, sort, sorting these up like the next pick's going to be starting pitchers. And I'm going to let you watch that one there. Uh, but I'm going to pause here while I fix the board here. Go, ready for the starting pitcher, starting with Atlanta. Each team will draft five. There's a bunch of them. There's like 127 cards here. So we're in six rows now. And so here we go. Five pitchers. Who will it be the 40 guys that will be in the starting rotations? Here's Atlanta's first row three, number eight. They get Bob Feller, big hard thrown man from the Cleveland Indian days. Okay, Chicago White Sox. 6'10. Number 10. Mickey Lolich. I would have been happy if he went to Detroit. And put some remarks down there. You like you like you enjoy watching this, and you like how the system that I'm using for this draft for this league. Two leagues: there's American League, and there's a four-team National League. They'll play regular season, interleague, and then there'll be playoffs. And here's Detroit's first pick: two nine. Have your five players been picked yet? Who are they? Ted Lyons, Detroit Simmons, going towards the old guys today in some cases. Okay, here we go. The Dodgers. 413. The Dodgers' first pick as a pitcher is Jamie Moyer. He's one of those hopefuls. 
to the difference in the color. This is color, I believe, is the hopefuls. This guy is in the Hall of Fame. He's a brown. I forget what they call him. Uh, but they also call him a prospect. That's kind of funny. The Yankees pick 6-5. And the Yankees picked Rick Honeycutt. Cardinals. 319. It's going to be way down there. The second to last one. They have picked Red Favor. Another Hall of Famer. San Francisco Giants, 5'11". Joe Negro. Here's the Atlanta, or Texas, first of two picks here. 317. Yeah. Forgot how many was in there. Yeah, when the, this is over, before I start playing the seasons, I'm going to be um, sleeving these guys. Dave Steeb, another hopeful. Atlanta, or Texas, with another pick. One, two. That's a quick pick. Must have who they wanted right off the bat. Tom Chaney, 1962. Another hopeful, looks like. Okay, here's the Giants' second pick. Six, seven. And they get Babe Adams. He's a good. He's a good one. He's a good one. I thought he was in the Hall of Fame. I don't know why it's this color. Maybe I'm mistaken something here. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Cardinal. 314. Tom Glavin. Nice pay. 115 for the Yankees. Jerry Rice, second pick here for the Dodgers, 6-8. And that pick is Don Newcomb, and he was a Dodger. <clears throat> here we go. Next pick's about 515. This is Detroit. Gaylord Perry. Okay, this is uh, the White Sox, 316. Jack Clarkson in uh, Atlanta's first two picks here. 318. I just counted that one. It's the last one. Christy Matthews, a nice pick. And Bob Feller was Atlanta's third pick. 5 9. Herb Pannock, been around, been around. Here comes the White Sox third pick. 618, I don't think there's anything in there, but we better count them. It was 
wasn't it? Wasn't so the White Sox have picked Hud Galvin. Oh, that's Detroit. Oh, that's the White Sox. I was right. To Hud Galvin. And Detroit they to sign him, but the White Sox outbid on there. Hey, Detroit, five eighteen. We just went there. There's not any. I think there's. We just went there. He's just 18 here. Bill Foster. Okay, here's the Dodgers. Will they get another Dodger? 413. The Dodgers' third starter is Bob Gibson. Oh, they're building up a doozy now. Okay, here's the Yankees, Rick Honeycutt. 619, we'll just take the bottom one. Jim Palmer. St. Louis. 213. St. Louis has picked. David Cohn, the Giants, 5-8. Fernando Valenzuela, and here comes Texas, their first of two. 517. I'm sure I think I just did that. There's no 17s I left in there. Let's make a double check. Nope. Dale Newhauser. He's another one. Quick pause. Okay, here we go with the uh, Texas' second pick going back up. Three eight. Mark the bird Fidridge. Okay, here we go with the Giants. One one, very top one. Jim Cott. Another lefty there. <laughs> Okay, here we go with the Cardinal. Four seven. The Cardinal's fourth pick is Don Drysdale. <clears throat> the Yankees. Four one, very tough guy. Catfish Hunter. He was a Yankee too. And Oakland. Mm. Okay. Here we go for the Dodgers. 2-1. Why are we getting the low numbers going now? 2-1. Roy Halliday checks in. There's Detroit. They're not, they're not liking what they're getting so far, I don't think. Six six. Steve Kyle. Here we go with the White Sox. Six eight. Philip Humber. He's got the brown. I think that no, that's not that's a hope, I think. I have a hard time between the brown and the, the whatever that color they call that. Okay, here comes Atlanta first and two. Three seven.
Walter Johnson, along with Christy Matthewson in the same starting rotation. That could be tough. And here's the second one, and then their last pick. 4-4. Four, four. Red Barrett, 1944, huh? Okay, here's the White Sox's last pick. 2-2. Two, two. Cy Young, nice pick. Nice pick. Okay, Detroit. 5-2. Wow, there's just been some low ones now. Not a lot of counting here. Jesse Haynes. Okay, the Dodgers. 6-20, that's the last one. Smokey Joe Wood. Here's the Yankees. Last quit. 519. That'll be the last one. Grover Alexander. Cardinals. There you go. 6 7. Bullet Joe Rogan. And here's the Giants' last pick. Who's the second one pick here? Baby Adams. Good Giants. Four four. Tim Keefe. Eighteen eighty eight guy. Uh, okay, and here we go for the last pitcher selected and starter. 519, the last one. Mordecai, three finger, Brown. So that are the starting rotations for these teams. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be start doing the uh, bench reserves. I'm going to do the relief pitchers last. I'm going to do the, no, I'll do the relief pitchers next. And, and then I'll do the bench reserves. So, time out. Coming back. There were, were not enough relief pitchers or pitchers marked RP or CL closer for me to be able to get four for each team. So, what I did is I relegated the other guys that only had a P, not an SP, RP, just P on there, relegated them for relief duty in this coming season. So, if you see that, that's what it's all about. Here we go with Atlanta getting the first pick. Now oh, they got the first pick in the first one. Yeah, yeah so they're, yeah. Texas will get this one. All right, we'll go to the reverse, start the reverse order. Texas. It's going to be number three out of this pile here. One, two, three. And their first reliever, Jack Taylor, that is one of those P's. Yeah. Okay. And here you go. 517. That's this guy right here. Mariano Rivera goes to the Giants. 6 9. Last one going to the Cardinals is Andy Cooper. A relief pitcher. The Yankees, 420. That'll be the last one in this pile. Lee Smith. Okay, the Dodger. 2 8. The Dodgers have picked Raleigh Fingers. Detroit needs a bullpen, I think, to staff up that starting rotation of theirs. 2-8 again. Mm -hmm. 
Detroit has picked Hilton Smith, one of those P's. Time out. Sure, you heard of some noise. I'm going to silence that phone. Here's the White Sox. First reliever. 417. That's the last guy in this column. Here. The White Sox picked Rich Gossage, the goose. Okay, here we go with Atlanta. 3 2. Okay. Danny Darwin, one of those relievers. Okay, Atlanta gets the next pick. Two, 18, the bottom one. Chief Bender. There's some good relievers coming in there, Pat. Bullpen. Chicago White Sox. 212. There's not 12 in here. Oh, this is this one anyway. Oh. Yep, this is the last one. And they get Trevor Hoffman and Goof Gossage. They're looking good there. Detroit. <clears throat> they don't know what they're doing in this draft. I don't think they've got some rookies or something here. 410. Is there even a 10 here? Nope. There we go. Quisenberry. Uh, the Dodgers. 1 6. The Dodgers have picked Dennis Eckersley. Eckersley and the fingers in that bullpen. Okay, here's the Yankee pick. 6 12. That'll be the last guy. Lindy McDaniel. <coughs> St. Louis. 4 10. There's not 10 left, is there? No. What's the last one? John Smoltz. Good reliever. Good pitcher. Oh. 414. Last one. Mariano ready to get joined by Kent Colby. Guys, stacking it up here. And here's Texas. They're the first of two. Five, eight. Is there eight here? No, there isn't. So it's the last one. The first one. Joe Nuxo. Look at yeah, Cincinnati. I'm gonna say I think he used to play for the Reds. Mm -hmm. He's a the footnote pitchers. I think the footnote pitchers are in the Hall of Fame. I'm going to have to double check. I'm going to get a little bit confused with all these different things. All right, here we go. Second tip for Texas. 5-12. The last one in this column. Ed Oli. The Giants. 4-16. Barky Lyle. Nice bullpen, huh? Uh, six three for Cardinals. Jesse Orozco. With the Yankees. One ten. That'll be the last one. Latroy Hawkins, two thousand and three. He's a footnote. Yeah, I think the footnotes are in. I don't know. I'll have to check. Okay, here's the Dodgers pick. Two seven. There may be seven in there. There's not. Oh, this is a this is a wrong pile. This is two. No, last one. John Franco. That's like they got three closers in that bullpen. Oh boy. Two seventeen. That'll be the last one. This is for the Tigers. Mickey Welsh. Oh, and he's a pitcher and an outfielder. He, he could fit in if I really needed him out there, huh? All right, that's cool. He could actually bat if I wanted to in the DH spot. All right, here we go, White Sox. 2-5. That's one. We're running out of this pile. <clears throat> Lewis Tion, well, it must be getting the old Lewis there. And here's Atlanta for the... First of two, their last one's 3 1. That's this column here. Eric Gagne. And then 114, the last one. Sad Sam Jones. Some love names from a long time ago. Here's the White Sox for their last pick. 4 1, that's right here. Ernie Shore. 
Okay, Detroit for their last pick. 3 2. That's this guy right here. Whammy Douglas. Boy, the Detroit's going to have some studying to have to do with these guys. All right, here we go. Dodgers. 4 10. That's, this guy's the last one. Okay, so now we're going to be going. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's the empty. Six. Last one. Billy Wagner. Nice. Cardinals. Six, three. And it happens to be the bottom one. Leon Day. The Diamond. Four, two. That's the bottom one. Juan Alvarez, and the last pitcher, reliever pick, there's one five, and that's the last guy in this column here, and it's Joe Cleary. So the relief pitchers are done. What I want to do next is I'm going to start doing the bench guys, but I'm not going to watch them walk all the way through. I'm going to do the outfielders first, the three that they got to pick, and then show it to them, to you. And so forth, kind of like I did the last time. So here we go, time out. Okay, the three reserve outfielders have been picked, as you can see. And I did make a mistake that I told you about I was going to do, but I didn't do. When I was doing this, I didn't throw in the guys that were left, center, and right only into the pile. I just completely forgot about it. So for this time, so be it. We'll live with the way it is. Look at the speed that the Braves have got. Billy Hamilton and Max Carey. Kiki Quayer, a really good hitter. The uh, White Sox, Aaron, but that's like, I don't know about that one. Detroit picked up the Bambino, Zach Wheat, and Bresnahan. The Dodgers <clears throat> got the big hammer and Hank. Down here, we got Willie Keeler and Dwight Evans. <clears throat> Monte Irvin of the Yankees. This is going to be this is going to be a fun season. Billy Her Babe Herman. He's a hopeful. I, I I thought that he was in, but I guess maybe he's not. And then uh, the Giants. Right. So them are the outfielders that were picked for uh, that. So we're gonna I'm gonna be going to the third baseman like I did last time, and I'll be back with you. Okay. Reserve third baseman have been picked. Nell Rosen, Judd Wilson, Fred Lindstrom. That's funny that Detroit picks him. When I, when I was in the last superstar baseball draft, I really wanted this guy, but I, somebody else picked him ahead of me. Tony Perez for the Dodgers. Stan Hack, George Kell out here in the Cardinals. Judy Johnson and Bill Mueller. And the third baseman's going on the rosters. Now we're going to see what shortstops are going to go on the rosters. Okay, and one of the shortstops have been added to the rosters. Swede Reisberg, mm -hmm. Bill Dolan, Huey Jennings, Detroit's liking this. Beckham, Phil Rizzuto here, the Scooter, Louis Aparicio, nice. Pop Lloyd, I don't know too much about him. If I know anything, Luke Applin, that's a really good shortstop there. And Herman Long, don't know too much about him. All right, we're going to the second baseman. Second, second baseman for each team, Davey Johnson. Frankie Frisch to the Giants, Roberto Alomar to the Cardinals, Johnny Evers, you know, Tinkers to Evers, the chance, I think is what that old saying was from the Cubs days. And then we got Bud McPhee, don't know too much about him, Ron Hunt, nice solid player, Bobby Thompson, is that the Bobby Thompson for the shot heard around the world? I'm not sure. I thought he was an outfielder, maybe he was a second baseman. Then Joe Morgan, everybody knows Fleet Footed Joe. All right, last first baseman's coming up. First baseman have arrived. Some noticeable names missing out of there, like Lou Gehrig, but we'll just say that was a year that he was ill or something like that. We've got Herman Killebrew. He's nice. He catches and uh, plays in the infield position, so that's pretty nice. Bill Buckner. Everybody remembers the ground ball, don't they? But they don't remember that he was a very good hitter. Okay, Delgado, a lot of power. Cecil Fielder, a lot of power. Norm Cash, a lot of power. Detroit got bottomly. They like that. He likes to drive in RBIs. Big Jimmy Fox to the White Sox. That's a big draw there. And Frank Chance. Last 
draft position for the run the rosters will be filled will be the catchers and we'll be right back with you well, the catcher positions on the rosters have been filled we went this way it started off with gary carter and then we went to lance parish <clears throat> joe caragiola not sure about that pick 1952 frank duncan i really don't know anything about frank duncan it says a footnote here uh Larry Brown, don't know nothing about him. Rick Farrell, I just know a little bit about. Bill Dickey, I do know, and so do I know Thurman Munson. So that is my Cooperstown All-Star 8-team, two leagues, draft, randomized. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please go down there, hit that like button on your way out. Let me know that you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. So, Cal Saber, I don't know what I'm doing here. So, Cal Saber saying thank you very much. Take care of yourselves and be kind to each other.